Sometimes I'm needed to, to help pick up kids, bring them to class. Since I was very young, I always wanted to be in the martial arts yeah. program. And so after I got sick, I, I knew that it wasn't an option. My mom got a phone call one day from one of the social workers at Children's Hospital. And she says, hey, there's this, this rabbi, you know, wanting to start a karate class for kids that have cancer. Good job, guys. Come to attention. Hands on our side. You see a kid for the first time, and they're feeling demoralized because the doctors just gave them this, this, this diagnosis that their outcome may not be good. We walk in, they see the uniform, the black belt, and they're like, oh, wow, you're amazing. And we're like, no, I'm going to teach you some things that makes you amazing. And go! Ah! And go! Ah! You see all the other kids with, with different diseases, they know someone else who has their disease, and they're friends with that person. So I'm teaching a class one time, and there's a little girl there. I've, I've seen her before, but I, I don't really know her story. So I'm trying to engage her, and she says, well, yeah, I, I, I've had rhabdomyosin sarcoma. Okay. So um, Haley started calling herself my number two when, 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 she, when we found out each other both had rhabdo. So I call her number two. She calls me number one. Very good, Sushi! There's five of us now.